I expect again with a lot of falls. Well, uh, as an illustration of uh, how many injuries they have, we just uh, saw there the Madrid bench, and there were three 19-year-olds 19 year, 19 on it tonight. Mario Martin, the midfielder, Nico Pass, who scored six goals for the uh, Castilla, the Real Madrid B team so far this season, and Gonzalo Garcia, the, the striker, who scored four goals. So that uh, underlines how they are tee up front. Yeah, the classical 4 4 Valverde, Modric and Bellingham with José and Rodrigo up front. You see it, that how, and how them lining up, uh, Victor? Change. Well, we're underway, Cadiz Killingham. So, more the square midfits of Camavinga and Charmany for the rest of the year. Here's Rodrigo and uh, Ledesma drops. Valverde on the overlap, but he goes for goal and he almost caught Ledesma out there. It took a deflection. Still Bellingham, it might uh, run through to Mondi. In the end, Fali stepped in and the referee... Rodrigo gets the shot away. And uh, free kick to got his head to it. And Ruben Alcaraz caught in the face by Fede Valverde. Across comes uh, Cuadra Fernandez, and there's a yellow card early for Fede Javier Hernandez. Cross comes in, the header down into the ground, but bounced uh, nicely up into Kepa's up into uh, Bellingham. Now to Rodrigo. Rodrigo, it might come back to Bellingham. Rodrigo continues, gets the shot away and into the top corner. Rodrigo goes, puts Real Madrid ahead. Ancelotti celebrates on the bench. It's his fourth goal of the season. Well, the Brazilian was a doubt before the game. He picked up a slight knee injury on international duty. Alex Fernandez with the shot. It takes a deflection out. Back to Tony Cruz. Tried to find Modric. Ramos. Shouts of handball against Rudiger. Bellingham back to Rossello. Modric with the cross and Bellingham in the end didn't quite make contact to Javier Hernandez. Changing to a five players in defence. So they lose one. Three or four before the game, which most of them went into the back of the net. So. Cutting in from that left flank once more. It's up for Rodrigo, who's taking up a more central position. Out comes Ledesma. Don't care. And if they have to... Fali with the cross. Rudiger trying to find... Uh, he is Carvajal in a very good position. He's got Rossello in the middle. If he can find him, Fali makes the clearance corner to Real Madrid. This is one of the strengths of Modric. Rodrigo switch wings. It's Pires back. Defending. It's Ramos up against Rudiger, and Rudiger fouls Ramos. No. Lucas Perez takes it, and hits it with pace, and into the side netting. Good, a wonderful goal earlier. Trying to make that Messi run. Real yeah, Madrid. Hey, Cadiz yeah. in the last two movements. Attention to Carvajal. There's a strong kick. Yeah. Space to turn, and he's brought down by Ruben Alcaraz. Lango for Tony Cruz, and he tried to miss kick by Chris Ramos. There's a chance for Bellingham, headed just over the top to Roger Marti. He gets the shot away, and uh, Lunin pushes it away for a corner. It's at the top, but Nacho in the end. Rich Carvajal, Rodrigo. Can Cadiz take something here against Carlo Ancelotti's team? Giving the support to Carvajal. Back. Here we go. Saldua puts the ball out. The attempts on target in this half. That's my going all the way out to meet Bellingham. Element of risk about that. Well. Down below here as Modric takes it. Ramos has played it out of the game a bit. There's another shot by Roger. Well, he's had eyes for goal inside the penalty area, but. You're talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> Striker. Both play to Bellingham back. 
problem earlier in this campaign. Of course, sending it in. Being a veteran player, being a youth. Oh, breaking ball. Bellingham on the move here, sliding it through, took a deflection, Rodrigo, and it ends up going wide. They were all at sixes and sevens defensively, Caddy. Marcelo, right. He's a winger, he can add more offensive. Bellingham on move. Trying to steady himself, wasn't the best of touches though. Pass is going to go. Important challenge it was, Fali. Cuts in, Modric, and all oh, off the post. Necessity that time, Rodrigo creating space. Rodrigo! He's at it again. It's a brace again for a revitalised Rodrigo. And Real Madrid have their second goal just as Cadith were threatening at the other end. And it might put this one to bed. This is part of Real Madrid to a 4-4-2 with two wingers, two proper... Just pinging that one over, and there is a oh. chance, and that goes down as a great chance for Maxi Gomez. As I recall, it was in that very first match of the Olympics as well. Back from Bellingham, oh, oh. Rodrigo, and he wanted to simply run through the defenders. He calls for Real Madrid, where the game is showing, Rodrigo. Bellingham for Real Madrid, Jude Bellingham joins in the fun, his 11th of the campaign, and that is Prince Alon and Jose Lu this time. Nhận định bóng đá Everton với Manchester United ngày 26 tháng 11, Everton vươn lên mạnh mẽ, đội bóng Everton ngày càng phát triển mạnh mẽ hơn sau 8 trận đấu vừa qua, họ nhận được 10 điểm trong các vòng đấu. Thành quả của thầy trò huấn luyện viên Lam Park đang leo lên vị trí thứ 11 của bảng xếp hạng. Họ cách nhóm nguy hiểm 4 điểm, khoảng cách điểm số chưa quá an toàn với Everton nhưng họ đang cho thấy tín hiệu tích cực của đội bóng chủ sân nhà. Manchester United mục tiêu 3 điểm. Đội bóng Manchester United bị Man City chặn đứng chuỗi ngày thăng hoa mặc dù Manchester United vẫn giành được chiến thắng nhưng họ không được vượt trội như trước. Manchester United có được 4 trận thắng và một trận thua trong 5 trận mới ra sân trong vai trò làm khách. Dù thành tích hiện tại của Manchester United không được tốt nhưng họ vẫn tự tin trước chủ nhà Everton. Trước đó cả hai từng nhiều lần thi đấu với nhau và kết quả vẫn nghiêng về Manchester United nhiều hơn. Trong trận thi đấu lần này của Manchester United trước Everton không ngoại lệ.